Nice. Hey Siri, ring my extra. We are back. It's episode three of this session of Poker Time. That is Bart Hansen from Crush Live Poker, the original Live at the Bike commentator. He's here on our show. Stop mentioning other shows that have poker. I just want people to know we got him. We got Digital Dan also, which matters to some of you. Yeah, there's Stuart. That matters to none of you. Stuart has had his warm milk and cookies, so he'll be out pretty soon. I'm kidding. Don't worry, guys. I'm kidding, Stuart. Everybody loves Stuart. All right, so... We've got a bunch of kings here. No more kings left in the deck. But we were delayed by four hours. I really hope it doesn't flop a king. You know what I'm saying, Jonathan? Yeah, the, the integrity of the game would be in question. It's true. There's, ooh, big flop there for Timmer. For Timmer and for Wheel and Digital Dan. I mean, they both flop open enders. Yeah. Digital Dan feels a little better about it because he's got the back door jack high flush draw. Fan teacher with the gut shot gonna call that seems optimistic in the first position after the better who bet into the world here I as agree. a dark bet I definitely agree yeah. digital Dan obviously not gonna fold he's just thinking about razor call I gotta imagine mostly he's just gonna call seems here. like a pretty clear call when, when Timmer decides call? just to bet into the world there it's call? yeah it seems like it's a call most of the time call? that was the fastest decision wheels ever made <laughs> brickety brick Brick Town. Stewart would still be ahead somehow if he was still in the hand. I think Timmer probably should bet again because he's not going to fold to a bet. It's tough, though, when you have three callers. You probably don't expect to have too much fold equity. In, although, in fact, he does have quite a bit here yeah. against these hands. You would expect there's going to be at least one person holding on with a reasonable queen or better. I agree. I agree. I guess Timmer does have enough equity. He could decide to check call or check raise. We're going to get to see what he does soon because Digital Dan is betting. I do like this decision from Dan. Me too. He's only got Wheel to get through who hasn't acted yet. And Wheel's going to make the call with just the open ender. This is an ambitious call from Wheel. It's Maybe true. he misread his hand. He thinks the king is a spade also. Maybe. Timmer kind of has to at least call here. He can't really fold. Yeah, this is to your point because this is this feels a lot poopier to yep. the flow of this hand for Timmer now than if he had been the aggressor. Also, if a diamond comes, okay, it didn't. So well, it's the nuts now for Dan and Wheel. But Wheel's going to be happy that he called, but it's kind of unlucky for Dan that Wheel called. Yep. Because he's going to have to chop this pot now instead of win it. Yeah, for sure. But so coming back to the idea of Timmer checking or betting the turn, also if a diamond comes on the river, he gets to continue betting instead of suddenly betting out of flow. Really different. Gives him a much better chance to get paid, Thank I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Can't give trips. Like, if he suddenly donked here, when, if the ace, uh, the ace of diamonds is a different card, but a, a, another diamond came, like, people would assume he had the flush. In this case, this guy's would miss anyway. But. Dan probably feels matters. like he's he's never going to have to chop this pot because he got called on the turn. He's like, well, I know the king jack of diamonds isn't out there, so yeah. nobody has that. Also, the king jack of spades isn't out there. Right. So it's impossible for anybody to have king jack, right? <laughs> You would think, but he's going to get the semi-bad news. He's going to get the wheel act. It's uh, the wheel act of 1924. Legalized sunglasses at the poker table. He's gone to the Supreme Court many times. <laughs> so Dan's really that small here. It's 425 because he assumes he's up against a relatively weak range. She's starting off on like, you know, when the ace comes, especially. And I just got to hope and pray somehow wheel as ace queen. Or jack nine. Or jack, a slow play jack nine. One more black trip, bud. Wheel with the click back raise. And Dan, of course, will just put the rest of wheel stack in. For sure. Dan's like, well, ace ten, ace queen. I don't know. At least they got $300 of Timber's money on the turn. Indeed. I mean, <laughs> By the way, Timmer puts in a big check raise on the turn. He's probably going to win the pot that way, too. Yeah, you can't really continue with King Jack on that turn. 
Uh, with check raise. Against the big, against the really big bat. I used to be a diamond. I knew it was I mean, you knew long before you put Yeah, yeah. Like six diamonds right Yeah, all right. Those diamonds would have been a pretty good card there for Timmer. Yeah, I don't know if he's getting too well paid, but he's going to get, you know, if either he bets and he's going to probably get called in two spots or he raises and maybe it unfolds, but that means he gets money. Yeah. I assume. I don't know, maybe it checks through. Maybe it checks through if he doesn't bet. Hard to know, Grant. We can't see the counterfactual. Can we? You don't have one of those devices that allows you to see into parallel dimensions? I mean... Parallel dimensions, yeah, yes, but this would be in the past. So I'd have to like, I also need like a time travel thing. How am I going to do that? I need to try yeah, to be able to see in parallel time lines. Bro, have you tried weed? <laughs> Magic <laughs> mushrooms? It's like the 1990s version of what weed does to you. That they claim. Eyes on the prize. Movies like Half Baked. Classic movies like that. Yeah. <laughs> DM5 calling the $35 raise from band teacher yeah. who raised under the gun because that's what you do when you're DM5 and everything's working. For those who haven't watched for a while or don't remember the last episode, DM5 has been playing a lot of hands and it's been going very well for him. Yeah, he's been bluffing very successfully, also making some big hands, but bluffing very successfully. And now he's going to be in a spot where he's going to probably feel obligated to make a over call here with 7-5 off and this is kind of why you don't want to play this in the first place. I mean, it's one of the many one of reasons. Many, many reasons, yes. You know, when he makes a straight and Band Teacher has a set, maybe we'll feel differently. Well, he does have that opportunity it with the backdoor runner runner. Look at that six. That's a beautiful six. <laughs> Meanwhile, this flop is hated by all. Yeah. Well, here's an opportunity for DM5 once again if he decides he wants to take a shot. Band Teacher could also take oh, a shot. Oh, Band Teacher's going to bet it himself. I think Band Teacher is bluffing here and is uh, yeah, really understands the situation. He's repping an ace for sure. And Wheel's not going away yet. Wow. Not yet. A little sticky there. Will Band Teacher follow through? No. Nope. Oh, he just gives it up. I guess he's afraid that Wheel has um, like a big hand, like aces or kings. I guess, but I, I mean, I, I think Ben Teacher maybe should have taken a little more time on that river because <laughs> typically, nice especially hand. if you watch poker time, you'd recognize that Wheel is not necessarily the trickiest gold. player. He's not going to show up with as many slow play oh. hands, potentially some of the other players. He also is very likely to bet any ace signature? on that flop as the free flop I mean, aggressor if you have something like ace queen. Right. Yeah. And well, he's unlikely to have any kings, which if he did have a king because he threw that preflop, like he would probably fold on the river anyway. I mm -hmm. So I feel like it was a good time to take another shot as band teacher. I agree. Even if you think uh, we are slow playing ace king, aces and kings once in a while, if you bet 70% of the pot, you know, he doesn't have to, he's not going to call enough of the time with right. those hands. He's not going to show up with those hands nearly enough for uh, for it to matter. You're gonna, As long as you can fold out jacks, by the way. Yeah. You still have to fold out jacks, right. which I'm not 100% sure it's going to work. Sometimes but. wheel gets extraordinarily sticky, but yeah. it's it's unusual, so I wouldn't expect to call there. I agree. I mean, it's I don't know how he's supposed to call if you bet big there on the river. The past tense Looks like Bart with a light three bet out of the small blind. She's attacking Timmer's button she's open and it works <laughs> like a jam. <laughs> she, she played in bed and she kept getting tapped. From my observations of Timmer, he's played, what, three or, three or so sessions now? Yep. It, it seems like his range really opens up when he's up a bit. And maybe Bart's recognized that because Timmer's been having a pretty good session. And he's playing hands that you really don't see him play if he's even or down. Like, I mean, I would assume he'd play that hand, of course. Yes. Yeah. But I'm saying Bart might be attacking the, right. the, the frequency. potentially wider range. Mm -hmm. DM5 is going to play this hand, right? Like, oh, yeah. Almost, almost certainly. Is it a limp or a raise? It's, no, it's a limp. It's a limp, yeah. It's the only question. Just put some tickets. Dude, Hamilton is so worth it. It's, yeah. So I was, worth it. I saw it in Chicago. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I was late on the game getting uh, into that, but only in the last like, couple months, but it's I play it on repeat all the time now. So he's just going to raise. Yeah. Looks like he, a very small yeah, amount. Maybe I wonder moment. if he knew that DM5 was in the hand. I think it's possible he didn't. He was talking about Hamilton. Yeah. You see, the way he was just looking at DM5, I, too, he's like, oh. Yeah. I think he probably didn't know. Well, it's a good flop for DM5. Also with position. Band teacher just gives up. I think yeah. he recognizes that he made a mistake, and he's like, I'm just not going to compound it. Yep. But 40. Cool. In honor of my... Really poor play. We're going to add on Charlie. Why wouldn't we? Yeah. So he's putting more money in. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Uh, in honor of his really poor play. That's what he said, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to say it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm pretty sure he just did it. He thought he was just stealing the blinds there. I said John, 600 points. We got the bad news. And as you said, didn't compound it, which is a good time not to compound it. When yeah, he was either getting floated or raised there. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for him to win the pot against him. And one stack of luck. Obligatory DM5 will play this. Like, there's a lot of players in the world who will fold this under the gun. And a lot of other players who will raise it under the gun. Yeah. Not too many who will limp it under the gun. Well, it's in terrible shape against Wheel here. <laughs> it really is. Tara's going to have to call it the pocket threes. Ooh. Here's Hanson with queens. Okay. This is the person who's actually in terrible shape. The guy yeah. with queens. And now, maybe, maybe Bart can exploitatively fold to any further aggression from Wheel. Wheel's got 2.4k in front of him. Bart's the effective stack at 2k. Wheel really should be putting in a 4-bet here, especially with Timmer behind him. He doesn't want to let Timmer in and have to play this hand three ways. And it looks like he is sizing it up into a 4-bet. And this is going to be a bit of a scary situation for Bart. I wonder at this point how much poker time Bart has watched and how much of Wheel he's seen. Yep. If he's seen a lot of wheel, he might consider folding right now. <laughs> Bart's sitting here, and I think what he, what's going through in his mind is some version of, is this guy capable of four betting for value with hands like jacks, ace king, ace king, tens? Does he have four bet bluffs in him at all? And the call is the standard play here, especially yes. with the sizing that wheel used. And in position as well. I mean, it's very reasonable to call, but look at the stack to pot. Issues that, oh, wow, wheel flops. Well, actually, this is a great flop set. for Bart because he has a flush draw now. He yep. has 30% equity. Yep. And, and wheel, wheel just moves, moves in. right in. Now, this is a weird spot. Really weird. I mean, there is a nightmare scenario where wheel has aces with the ace of hearts. Yep. Or ace king with the ace of hearts. The, the flush draw alone isn't good enough here. You need you need to it, like have more equity than just the flush draw, I think. You just hate to fold if wheel has jacks with the jack of hearts, you know? Yep. Or, well, no, actually, ace king of clubs is not good enough to call. No. So, as we see. That's, and that, that, I think, is also going to make it pretty easy for Bart to fold here, right? Because the only thing is really jacks with the jack of hearts. Maybe tens with the ten of hearts or something whack like that. I guess if Wheel's a crazy person, he can show up with like ace ten with the ace of hearts, maybe, but. There's no reason for Bart to think he's a great person. No, Wheels never indicated that. I don't see how Bart can find the call here. I don't think he should. How do I figure out how to play this? <laughs> You'll just you can't have black aces I can call. Want to see one? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll show you one. Oh, like 10 seconds. Okay. You <laughs> Which one do you want to see? Wheel at black aces. This one? Yeah. <laughs> no shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, but this top one. Oh, I'm not showing you. I thought it was Wild West, can't you lie? Oh, oh shit, <laughs> Jay. We're not saying it's against the rules. We're saying it's just a shitty thing to do. I know. Okay, I'll show you one. You ready? Okay. Which one do you want to see? Which, uh, the, the, your, by your, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one. This one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. What's going on? No, I don't think. I think he's probably got three kings or ace king with the ace of hearts. Black ace king. Whoopsie. Black this is a really good deal for Bard that he gets to see the king. It makes it an easier fold for sure. <laughs> it does. We see the king. So, was that an angle that 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 we saw that or not? What happened there? Like an angle they didn't follow through on because he felt bad? Yeah. Like the, he was sort of shamed into showing a card? Or was, there, was there really an agreement there? Or did Bard just sort of like. I, don't, I couldn't tell if there was a true yeah, agreement. I don't know if there was. By the way. Bart giving Wheel that information <laughs> doesn't help Wheel in any way. So yeah. it's not really a fair deal at all. Right, sure. unless Wheel <laughs> indicated that he would he would also show a card. Yeah. Which still is like an unfair deal even if it's a deal you made. Yeah. By the way, it is Wild West rules. You can say you're going to show a card and not show yeah. a card too. You can punch a guy. <laughs> it's great. We love it.
Wild West rules, of course, means uh, when your head's up in this game, you can turn over your hand, you can, you can expose any amount of cards you want that are yours, you can talk about your hand, you can talk about your opponent's hand, do anything you want except touch your opponent's cards and be, well, highly disrespectful. We encourage you people can be to be a little, little, little disrespectful. You can't, be, you can't physically touch a person, of course. Yeah, I'll take it. Bandager Bandager gets <laughs> the three bet through. Three betting the queen jack. Oh, it's a little dangerous to three bet the guy who's still collecting his chips from the previous hand. Yeah. Typically a sign of strength when that player enters the pot, but he happened to have very good bottom of the gun opening range. He's going to be out of position. It's a reasonable fold. If you showed me. You talked yourself into calling just because of the depth of the stack. <laughs> Suited seems like a pretty clear call. Yeah, you just have to. Because I know he always has to. Thirty-five. And by always, I mean ninety percent. Timmer would not be opening this if he was not up. There that you is go. My assessment. Uh, Got it. No, I think and Bart, maybe he has recognized that Timmer is opening wider because he, here he is three betting. You see what a what a how valuable that three bet was too. He got the nut flush draw and diamonds out of the hand. He yeah. just calls. Dan Teacher's definitely coming along. Yeah, we're oh, Timmer, surprising with the call here. It's a great opportunity here for Bart. Now he's got Timmer dominated and will have a have a good hand if he hits diamonds rather than a death deathly bad second best hand. Well, it's a gut shot for Timmer, but that's probably not good enough to continue with Bart. Bets. I don't know if Bart will bet. This I was wondering board, that too. I was thinking he might find a check, and he does check quickly. The only card he was really, really trying to avoid was an ace, and now he can start trying to bet for value. Although it's going to be hard to get much value against Timmer's line. Agreed. Just to hope Timmer has queen ten suited. Two tens, two nines. Queen ten suited that doesn't lead the turn, by the way, which you'd expect a lot of the time. Yeah. Maybe two nines. Don't know exactly what to do here, but don't might have the best hand that. sometimes. Also have a gut shot. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Hard to get value. In the end, the three bet does garner Bart a little extra money there. So Just a little. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to beat them? Or Did I I, I added five and also, of course, he gets to be in position heads up, which is super sweet. Like Just like right before last game. You didn't have to show me. It's new. <laughs> we knew what they were. <laughs> well, I, mean, I thought aces was possible, too, but not that likely. Only with the ace of hearts. Yeah. Fold. Oh, I'm smart. Did you get my? Nope. Oh, Fold. This is accurate. Band teacher is feeling some sort of way, as the kid, <laughs> as the kids like to say. He's running into the, the digital ones, Ace King suited, who just calls. Boy, Dan likes to just call with big hands. He does, and that we saw in the last session that hurt him immensely when he did it with two kings we sure and did. Uh, ended up with top set against the nuts in two places, which was Queen Jack. Yep. And lost a lot of money. He was the biggest loser in the history of poker time. That hand didn't session. help, certainly. No, yeah. it sure didn't. He lost, what, $7,500? In that session, he did, yeah. Yep. Not Stuart good. has <laughs> three bet and Dan <laughs> has called. A well, side flop would be nice for Dan. I mean, Dan's hand is under rep tremendously, but look well, at that flop for Stuart. He hits the three outer. That's just how Dan runs these days. Seems like it. Dan is going to have to call a reasonable size bet here, I think. Eh, he does have two back doors, but. And overs and Stuart. He could really have the best hand right now, still. He could, but he also. Really could not. Yeah, let's see how Stuart's sizing it. I Betting think it's fine five. just to let it go. I mean, yeah. yeah. I think if you're in position, it's it's a much easier call. Yeah. I think letting it go. You have a lot of pocket pairs here. You have a lot of jacks here. You yeah. don't have to call with these king of hearts. If Stuart sized it down a bit, I understand why he wouldn't on this board. But if Stuart sized it down a bit, then it's easier for Dan to call it. It looks like Dan's going to call it anyway, though. Well, now we better hope an ace doesn't come. Yeah, a king, a heart, a queen, a ten. Those are the cards that will make Dan happier. That is the best, oh. though. Well, maybe maybe Dan's running good now. I want to see some Stuart face at the end of this game. I think we're going to get to see some Stuart face. I don't know. We might get to see some Stuart face. I don't think Stuart can profitably bet this card. No, no. There's no, there's not a lot of value in betting here. He can try and charge. Clubs do come in, so I don't expect anybody to bet necessarily. Dan could bet like a blocker bet type thing. 
If Dan checks again, Stork could decide to try and go for some thin value. Should I get called by Tens or Queen Jack? Queen Jack suited, something like that. Not a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah, Dan's yeah. got a bet, though. Dan's, I like this bet by Dan. Looks small, looks like a blocker bet. I don't know if Stork's going to be able to call it, but... When the clubs come in, it feels a lot like Dan has you in big trouble. You need him to have nines or tens and be bluffing with them, right? Yeah. There's not much else there. Maybe queen ten. Maybe you could, maybe you could have had a hand like queen ten suited. That's not in the clubs. Maybe. maybe. I don't know if he's actually calling with that on the flop, but maybe. Just hard to come up with very much. You can be yeah. here as Stuart. <laughs> Nine ten? Nope, that's nuts. Stuart's in a weird spot because when he checks the turn, this is one of the better hands he shows up with now that isn't a club, that aren't clubs anyway. Uh, but still, what can he beat? Dan, check call out of position on the flop. He has something. Well, if, if Stuart calls, that's a great opportunity for us to see Stuart face after the showdown. He does um, fold, though. Nice job. Stuart works it out, and Dan's oh, going to show him. Oh, he's going to show him anyway. Awesome. And he gets the Stuart. Oh, slight Stuart face. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there. Really it's the trying to figure out what, what was going on. That's the stuff. <laughs> it's like, what happened? How did we get pre flop That is my lifeblood right there. I was the three better? <laughs> he called the flop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't the club for comms. I assure you. Stuart face is not quite as enriching to my being as Batiste face. Oh well, that but, means. But it's it's you know it's the no. best it's the best cringe face we have right now. That was barely any Stuart face. I True. I I need I a lot more Stuart face than that. that. Uh, I'll tell you what, a lot more. <laughs> Get my engine revving. Yeah. Just driving across Texas is like. Did you see all those floating? Well, is that as as big as driving to California? No, no. You got start. Start with a slightly loose open under the gun here. Van teacher with a slightly loose call plus one. Slightly is the wrong word. <laughs> I'm waiting for the slider. Oh, this oh, no, is actually, actually has a hand. He got lucky and had a reasonable hand when he called. Yeah, I mean, it's just it so happens to be that there are a certain percentage of combos in the deck that are reasonable to call with, and sometimes DM5 is going to have those. He was going to call either way, so. Good flop for uh, two sixes. Yeah, Bart not even going to take a shot here, despite the two back doors. It's a very good time to bet. And indeed, we see the $75. This will probably just get through. Probably everyone's just going to go on home and watch TV. That's what I call folding now. Go on home and watch TV. Go on home and watch TV. I hear there's a, a great new episode of Young Sheldon. <laughs> I hear that, I hear that the, the precocious little guy gets into a scrap and uh, has to learn how to fight from... Oh you know, God, an Orlando, unexpected source. <laughs> <laughs> you were <laughs> trying to get do something with that, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, Young Sheldon, uh, <laughs> you much like beloved television show, yeah, 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 I think, by the, everyone. Hours. Hey, let's look at the... Oh, let's not. <laughs> oh, we're about to look at the pre-flop raising, where Timber was at 30%, and I mean, we got everyone to else is at some of this. Here's Stuart with aces. That's a nice hand. That's a place I wanted to check out anyways. I didn't realize how cool... Will he get any action? Yes. Yeah. Bart, Bart Hansen. Bart will call with this at least. He will mostly, probably call. Mostly just call. Never never going to fold that. They're, 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 they're way too deep for him to fold that. Yeah. And that is the nuts. So if you're Bart, you got to love it. Here's the check. Now, this is the type of board that Stuart could check back aces on. Yeah, against the him, big blind. Him and Bart are playing at a high level, and they are both going to be making board-based plays. It's actually a little surprising. It's a little surprising because Bart has a ton of bluffs in his range here that Stuart's not going to know what to do against. This, exactly. this board is all over Bart's range. He Bar has every two-pair combo in the deck, every straight combo in the deck. Maybe not 3-7 offsuit, but... Maybe not deuce three, but I feel you. Um, yeah. He's got a lot of things. This is the kind of board, yeah, Bart, can, Bart could <laughs> check-raise bluff a lot. Turns out he's going to have the nuts here, though. He just has such an incredible range advantage over Stuart here. Yep. Are we allowed to do this? No. Yeah, this is... This doesn't actually have to be a mistake that Stuart bet, but you have to then be willing to... You have to do it against a guy who you think is going to be bluffing here a lot if you right. bet here a lot. Um, or is a super station who's going to call so, so much and is going to be playing face-up when they raise. I guess it's good for Stuart that he does not have the ace of spades in his hand, making it more likely that Bart Hansen has a flush draw here. Yep, so that's good. Well, it's bad since Bart actually has the nuts, but yes. Yeah. As so far as, really as, far as a call, range analysis, it's yes. good. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to be Got the queen of hearts in the turn. Never really changes anything unless Bart was check raising queen five suited or something, which seems unlikely. Or queen queen. Yeah, also seems unlikely. Both seem relatively unlikely. 
Was that? I guess Queen Royal. Five of Spades, he could have check raised. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, I'll use that. Yeah. Expect Barkers go for the full four streets of value here. Yep. 500. Hope that Stuart has Queen Queen. Did he bet 500? 500 into 445. That's pretty cool. He's really polarizing himself here. Yep. It's a board that's great to polarize yourself on as the big we blind when you have so many fun in things in your range. You can have any sort of gut shot with a flush draw, any 5x of spades you might play this way. Of course, you have all your nutted hands that you're going to play this way. Look how nicely he set this up to if Stuart were to call here, Bart's going to have a 1 to 1 stack to pot ratio for the river, so it's going to be an easy clean shove. Which, of course, is something he'd want to do. Stuart does call. I think Stuart kind of has to call with aces here. And then just kind of make it a decision on yeah, the river. Yeah, you got to figure it out on the river. Hope, hope Bart gives up a lot. Well, the when he's three bluffing. comes in. That's going to make that's, it a little bit easier for Stuart. A really good card for a Stuart. A lot of Bart's semi bluffs are now actually good hands. Any 7x of spades. Maybe, maybe Bart even has 7x's that aren't spades. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think he can have that. This, is, this really might help Stuart get away from this. And Bart's just sitting there hoping that Stuart has two sevens. It does go all in. Uh, I should have checked the flop. Uh, this is such a large mistake. I think Stuart just said I really should have checked the flop. I think he either said I should have or I could have, but either way, he gives all his time <laughs> cards. That's great. He's going to give it a think. It's an interesting spot, right? 3,000 in the middle. Sale opportunity and I think he against, beat spades, that's against it. a straightforward player, this is a pretty of tri course. trivial fold. But Bart Hansen oh, is a good no. player, and he's going to have balance in these spots. Then, yeah. yep. Especially once he's recognized that Stewart is also a Near good player, future, which I'm immediate. assuming Bart has by now. I mean, either way, that three is a great card. If you have spades, it's a great card to shove on. Absolutely. So you can talk yourself into that, too, that he's less likely to give up with his bluffs here when the three comes. Distribution-wise, Stewart is not so far down. He's pretty high up. I mean, he's got sets. He's got pocket sevens. He's got sets. He gets rid of it, though. Gets Great job. It, yeah. Great job. Kind of like a hot potato. Yes. Like, he's like, I don't want to yeah. accidentally call here. <laughs> like there's, oh, there's Stewart face. There's some more Stewart face. That's good stuff. King K in the pot. The turn is the four of diamonds. Hey, what is that? Speaking of turn, coming around the mountain... Is oh. that the nitrogen sports poker train? I think they did buy a train recently. If you listen, you can hear its very choo. familiar jingle choo. and choo-choo. <laughs> Wait, there's the jingle. Nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding. nitro, 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 nitro. Wow, that's the weirdest <laughs> ad ever all of a sudden. <laughs> anyway, nitrogen sports poker room is, uh, you know, they let us do ads like this. They Perhaps do. because they don't listen to them. Free reign, baby. <laughs> 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 nitro, 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 nitro. <laughs> it's just Bart. Yeah, it's, it's just Bart. Bart. And we're back to the, the, the last vestiges of Stuart face. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of just a general disappointment now than room. the actual yeah. contortion of the face. He's just wondering, yeah, was he like bluffed? You know, you sit there and you just don't know. Yeah. You, yeah. you can't your know in your... Yeah. Yeah. Hoping you made the right decision. Don't worry, Stuart. Exactly. You saved yourself 1.5k there at the end with that fold. That doesn't mean four, right? That's the buy-in to uh, one of them nice bracelet events this yeah, summer. He saved awesome. himself. Millionaire Maker, Monster Stack. Many, many other things yeah. as well. Those are the main 1500s, though. There's a lot of 1500 events. Cool. That are no limit hold'em. I don't know if there are any that aren't those game. anymore. Really? Yeah, they might have some weekday huh. ones that uh, are just like smaller, yeah. but yeah, Remember? those are the only weekend 1500s now. I think. Rings a bell. Where's the one last year? Can teach you with the pair. DM5 gonna take a shot with really a nothing hand on this board. Yeah, a good board to take a shot on. Two pair now for Bandy. And he's got it locked up. DM5 can keep going. Bandy could have a lot of deuces and fives that are going to yeah. fold to, to continues when DM5 has plenty of kings in his range. I like this continue here from DM5. Also a lot of like pocket pair stuff that are just below the king that are just when the second bet comes in. You think this great. is a raise or a call? Uh, I think it, I think you could very reasonably raise, but against DM5, I'm more apt to call. Bandteacher decides to raise, just hoping that DM5 has a king, and I imagine DM5, having seen him play for a bit now, would not be folding a king, so that part is good. The bad part is that DM5 has 
all of the other combos that exist in the world also. And, he, and all those combos, a lot of them are going to be triple barrel bluffs. Yep. So you could call here, and he's going to fire away on the river a lot of the time. And you, and you miss out on that. So just depends. It's close, though. Yeah, I, I think it's it's fine to check, especially when the second heart comes. He can have a heart draw. You can, in theory, have a heart draw. And, you know, make him a little more sticky. Can't be too bad to raise there, especially out of position. No. Against DM5 is one of the guys you could really consider not raising. <laughs> you could. There are some guys you could consider not raising for the opposite reason. Like, they're going to fold their kings and mm -hmm. call with all their hands that have you beat. Right. Oh, he almost folded the jack four suited, couldn't but he couldn't it. couldn't bring Can't himself do to it. do it. Come on, that hand is a jack in it, and it's suited. And hearts. Digital Dan dominating both players with the only real hand. I'm gonna start calling him Dominating Dan. Excellent. The dominatrix Dan. <laughs> dominatrix Dan. <laughs> That's good, right? And he makes the nuts. Not so bad. There are gut shots, as we see. Let's see if anyone wants to uh, give him some cash. Well, Ben Teacher could decide to take one yeah, stab at it, but it's not much of a pot anyway. He's out of position. It's yeah. going to be hard to get value if he gets there. I like the fold for sure. Wins, uh, so is it two, two breaks, then? Yeah. For the show, two breaks? How? How much? <laughs> Hey, let's do a, a bomb pot and whoever. Dan is doing some sort of mental calculation there. He got sure is. I don't know what he's doing there. The last one here determines the position. You want to wait? The last one is a hint of okay, how we'll far it is more confusing. And then just whoever has the button then gets it. It is a hand that I think is a disaster. Sounds like they're negotiating a future bomb pot. Something to look forward to. Indeed. We've seen some really fun hands. Last time I wanted pocket nine. Bomb pot hands specifically, I mean. Yeah. In the past, so. We are going to isolate the extremely wide range of DM5. Extremely wide. Bart might decide this is time for a three bet. And he does. This is excellent timing from Bart. Yep. Bart's three bets in general have just been kind of perfect so far. Enter DM5, and Wheel, once again, has been 3-bet when he has king-queen off. Let's see if he folds so again. It's a pretty uncomfortable hand to get 3-bet with. So he folded last time. This Dan teacher 3-bet him. Now when Bart 3-bets him, he calls. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I wonder awesome. why. That's different for him. Well, it's a really good flop for Bart. He yes. should be slightly afraid that Wheel has him beat, but he can feel pretty comfortable for the most part. Yep. Uh, I am going to um, check. Check. That was a weird check. Yes, it was. That would make me want to check even a little bit more than normal. Bet He's going to bet. I understand from a balance perspective why you would bet yeah. here as Bart. This is your board. You're just betting it, and then, you know, if Wheels gonna, can call with jacks and tens and nines and a whole bunch of stuff. And I imagine Bart's checking a lot of turns once called. Now, I'd be a little bit worried if I were Bart here because Wheel did that weird check, and then when Bart bet, he, Wheel said 125. Yeah. Like, but now it feels like the type in. of thing where a raise is coming and he's got like a nutted hand, but yeah. luckily for Bart, that was not the case that time. Yeah, Bart could have got himself in a little trouble with that bet, but that time it was easy. Easy peasy. I wasn't down, though. Like driving on the freeway in L.A. But there's a couple episodes I wanted to People don't on a Sunday. I think that's typically not something that people like. Depends on who you are. You like being in traffic? Some people like being in traffic. You ever see uh, the movie Traffic? <laughs> But he said Del Toro yeah, so loves being in traffic. Like that's what that movie's about. He, well, he loved so acting in the movie out. Traffic, so he loved being in traffic. Yeah. Thank you. Your, also, what was the movie where they, so Ryan Gosling and uh, Emma Stone were singing and dancing? Oh, I never DLA. saw. I never saw La La Land. La La Land. Yeah. They're in traffic a lot in that movie, and they love it. So now about traffic. That movie is hard to get through, and I could not do it. <laughs> I did not attempt to, even though I, I like the director. Anyway. Well, you know what the real L.A. traffic movie is? Oh. Falling Down. You never saw it? Well, Michael Douglas. I was on a killing spree because he's in <laughs> I mean, it's like the last straw. But yeah, yeah. 
It's never just the traffic when someone kills somebody. I don't understand why she plays like it gets her best emotional team, but some people. So Wheel, by the way, opened the King Seven suited. He's just playing a lot of hands right now. Yeah, he's getting a little loosey goosey. Under the gun, King Seven suited. Yeah, you don't need to protect player. She would be bigger if she could keep her emotions in check, but I don't understand if it's very wonderful why do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. You know, he looks like yeah, the kind of guy who would say "buster" a lot to people. You're a buster. No, no, not you know. Like, what do you what do you think, buster? You know I, mean? I like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. People like the pain. Oh, I, I know what you mean for sure. Sports gamblers, they like the pain. Like, <laughs> I want to see a hand. That Craps for players. 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah. If any player yeah. opened King Seven suited in a hand that we analyzed in our book, <laughs> how can he fold? <laughs> yes. Incredible <laughs> poker hands, broken down decision by decision. We would certainly make note of that and talk about it in our discussions in the book. Yes. We sure would. And that book, which is 37 different tournament hands that we have analyzed to the teeth, to the core, to the bones, the book is available to the right marrow, now. To the marrow, Jonathan. There's a link in the description of the video to thepokerguys.net. You can get the ebook there. It also takes you to Amazon if you want the paperback. Yep. Check it out. It's a great book. Getting great reviews from everybody. The Pope is going to comment soon yeah we're gonna put that right in the cover yeah. once once we get the pope quote yeah so we call it the biz the pope quote yep we all, we're also gonna get david letterman no, I mean, that was the, that was the line. yeah and obama and madonna okay yeah okay i didn't want to mention her but yeah a lot of people don't know who she is anymore. right I didn't tell them. <laughs> of course. And I still didn't tell them that, like, I took it. You know we need I mean? to get someone, though, for more for the kids, though, like a Taylor Swift. I'll tell you how much they, they book. You know, <laughs> uh, a Logan Paul. How about, like, just... Uh, a young Sheldon. Rafi, the kids' entertainer. Oh, he is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so we have we have a hand here. Ah, who cares? So Fan Teacher Bet's 135, and Digital Dan is... Uh, he's in a spot. He's in a spot. He's going to let it go. He decides to believe. Nice play by Band Teacher. Picks up a little equity, fires away. Feels a lot like. So they ended up betting twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a lot. Like a, like a, like a, like a oh, yeah. I think we should yeah, have a thing where if you like win a pot, yeah. maybe we can do this for our next our future you partner. You win a pot, you ha you switch shirts with the person who you won with. You just switch shirts. Like in the world series, so. uh, not necessarily. I'm, I'm not. I'm, it's not like strip poker, I'm but it's like you know, it's a fashion they thing. Don't know that I'm, it's it's got to change, change your clothes. I, 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 I just think I'm just gonna ignore that. What, what do you mean? <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> <we're not>. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's with the same hand he just beat Digital Dan with. Yeah, unless the reader picked up the same hand again. So, yeah, it does, does happen, happen yeah. if he holds his hand too And actually, they had Digital Dan with the same hand too, so I don't know what's up with that. Queen ten again. It's possible the hands yeah. are wrong this time. Yeah. We don't know. He took him to win the yeah. Wheel deciding to call is still, he could have 9 7 off. Yeah, he could. <laughs> <laughs> well, no more soon because if. Uh, if Band teacher check folds, then. Yeah. I mean, he's. He can't check fold, but, you know, folds on the turn. Yeah. He's probably going to. If, if he has this hand, he's probably betting it. He's probably betting it either way, actually. And. And if his opponents have those hands, they're probably folding. Yeah, and they are. So maybe it was all true. It could have been true. Show it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let us know. Yeah, okay. Death, death this summer, yeah. Show it, you big tease. He, he, he lived with us this summer. He, he, yeah, I do know. He, was, he almost had right. a job. We're so. going to get the hands right. <laughs> yeah, they, now <laughs> the, everything's reset. If, if they weren't right before, they were right. Uh, so let's get back to this uh, clothing idea I had. What is he doing? Switching clothes. You like it? How about They don't just have to be uh, shirts. It could be uh, <laughs> I know one particular YouTube commenter is not going to like this bit. No, no, no. He's just local. Yeah, me too. It doesn't matter what I say. The YouTube commenter's going to have ish. All right. Tens for Hanson. Digital Dan with Ace, Eight of Diamonds. This could be a three bet. Instead, it's a call. DM5, of course. And these two cards that are next to each other. They're connected. Come on. Eric's got a very reasonable calling hand. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nothing to do with this. It's there's still a lot of variance there. Oh, for sure. The top of the golf table. Not a lot of diamonds left in the deck yeah. for Digital Dan. There's there's one of them. And an ace. And Pretty good. Uh, an open ender for DM5. Yeah, Pair for Eric. Usually with football, people do it like it's 
No one has a heart in their He's hand. He's on the baseball ones that last a whole season. Digital Dan immediately. <laughs> All the way until the end. You make a team for one Put pressure on everyone else. Put everyone to a decision. Down. Kind of a small yeah. bet. Well, but DFS Yeah, a little, little less than half pot. So a pretty wet board four ways. Like you could, when they were doing it, when they were huge, it would be like 35 bucks. Dan's going to be mostly on the lookout for hearts here. Like yeah. Straight yeah. coming in would be pretty well disguised. There it is. There it is. And Dan is now open-ended. Yeah, Dan can't be folding on this card. Yeah, Dan Dan could really lose some money here. And they are deep. I don't expect him to get all in. No, no, no. no. I expect, like, if he bets, we're going to see a lot of raises here, and he's going to have to call it. He might call the river, too. Against the M5, it's very reasonable. He's going to have to call the turn, and then if he bricks the river, he's mostly going to fold, but could decide to call. It's pretty reasonable to call, though, against a bluffier opponent. Yeah, the guys are doing it to try to Well, let's see if the M5 actually raises the turn. We're just sort of assuming. You have to like sort of couple. Or Looks like he is. Certain types of lineups together. Like Dan's right. like, oh no. You have to go, like, against the green in some ways, right? <laughs> At least I have an open ender. <laughs> now is when you really recognize here, that eight so nine got, got there. Well, now you have is to the couple, time. You have to, well, yeah. You have to Actually, that's true. Couple your quarterback with your receipt with with your receiver. Right. So DM five could have a bluff. He could have eight nine. He could have ace five. Yep. He could have four three of hearts. Yeah. Well, that's what it is now. It's, it's so hard to be five seven, five six. He'll play those hands. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but that's all. There's really no folding here for Dan with the open ender. I don't think. So and the opponent. In, and I think it's a pretty clear call. You yeah, I agree. This Even though with DFS, he's so drawing to a, a chop. Where? Because I know the guy Johnny. It'd be interesting if the if the around. if it breaks out. Drafting. What Dan decides to do. So basically, they had hired. When I'm really thinking about it here. A bunch of advertising. Kind of has yeah, a per, kind of has a like perfect calling like hand though in this spot. DM5 loves to see him put more chips in the pot. Yeah, I was hoping for a three bet, but is happy with the call. Yeah, Got to be pretty happy with the call. And digital Dan gets there for the chop. The three outer comes in. The digital one, uh, since that Stuart Ace King hand is finally running okay. Yeah. And this is this is maybe the worst card in the deck for DM5. Yeah, it's pretty bad. He should probably still go for a little value, but he can't bet too much now because he's trying to get called by ace, you know, by a good ace or two pair or something like that. And then they knew, like, Dan is asking for a count. He's worried that Hart's got there on him. He's got to call though. Ooh, it's a big bet though. Interesting that DM5 chose to bet relatively big here. Like it's bad real games too, right? Like six, like heads up six. Right, right, right. So what they would do is um, yeah, yeah. it is interesting that DM5 sized it up so much. Yeah, yeah it seems tough to get like called they, by they anything see, besides the straight. I mean, you saw Dan's reaction with the straight, yeah. with the sizing. He still didn't like it. Yeah, that, that shows that if Dan had the understanding of the exactly. It's very unhappy. I know what he's doing with Ace-5 there. He's probably folding that too. It's like hard not to call with a... What do you yeah. call it things no, that aren't in eight? That bomb pod is time? That's not for bomb pod? Oh, is that going to be the last thing? Yeah. yeah. That's what more than that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if uh, I, I love DM5 no, sizing there Although specifically. The I normally I really like the sizing, but yeah. that felt like a little too big for the situation yeah. when the heart comes in specifically. Certainly. And there's four to a straight. So yeah, it's a death card. It's a death card for like a set. Dan somehow has two pair or a set or anything good. Yeah. And by the way, it also kills DM5 sometimes. Sometimes Dan has hearts there. Sometimes Dan has 8-10. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of hearts, but I guess, probably. Yeah. But yeah. Turn, which is a much better result. Oh, they called the could flop. Have. He called the flop. It's hard for me to He bet the flop. He did bet the flop. He could but have he bet eight. the flop four ways. Raised yeah. Fold. Not super likely. And now he has aces. But they cleaned all that up, though. I mean, there's a lot of venture capitalist money. Now will he get action? Mm, Bart will probably call with his hand. He called with the 9 8 last time, right? I mean, so this, is a, this is pretty clear. Basically call. the same thing. Deep. Yep. And they are deep. I think it was 7-8 last time. I think you're right. He wishes it was 7-8 again, but it is not. No. He made a lot of money last time with 7-8. Bet 25. Dan just hoping that Bart has a jack or some sort of pocket pair that can hang on. Or a gut shot or really anything at all when he bets $25 into 75. Bart's even thinking about, is there a play to be made, but he gets out of the way. Four break. That's how you win with aces. You win a tiny pot yeah. with a tiny bet. You go home and you watch TV. Yeah. Right. 
Meanwhile, we have a bomb pot. Hey, all right. But their problem was that that was a couple years, years, like maybe three or four years. Yeah. In case you guys uh, are so new or haven't seen the bomb pot episodes they before, this is where everyone puts so in twenty-five dollars. Sometimes it's fifty, sometimes it's twenty-five. Yep. Depends on the table. Everyone gets a hand, and we go right to the flop. There's no pre-flop action at all, so everyone sees the flop with their hand, and then we begin. The small action is on the small blind. Got king jack of clubs for Bart. And ace nine of diamonds for Eric are the two most playable. Ace hands ten here. for Stuart off is pretty good too. We still don't know what the flop is. Band teacher bet a hundred though with his six deuce and Stuart called. I thought it was ten high. I thought actually the flop came out for a second. I it was ten high. But I'm just gonna let go of his nine. Eric's gonna let go of his nine. Figure out the flop. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna see. There it is. There it is. It is ten high. So Banty just bet bottom pair, like yeah, the most normal call. thing in the world. Strategy. Mm. Check. Banty realizes he's pro he can only beat eight nine here, and oh, he can't beat eight nine anyway when the nine comes on the turn. Then he could bluff, but and he done. looks like he is bluffing. Yep. This is going to be a tough call for Stuart in a bomb pot. Yep, not a great spot. He's getting a pretty good price. He does make the call. He just feels he, maybe he just thinks baby. his kicker is good enough that yeah. he can beat other tens, which could bet for value. Donkey Race dick. nine is not Donkey good. dick. <laughs> yeah, it is. Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> You guys ever have like a convention? Eight, six, seven, that was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a really Vegas cool thing to say. <laughs> it was funny though. Oh, I liked it. Yeah. 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 Here, one player call another player donkey dick. <laughs> That's all. But I appreciate it. And there's a limp from BM5 again. Some of that, you know, color that. Uh, I mean, it's not like it's yeah, it's, it's, it's not any different yep. than LAX from where I used to live. So. Oh. Option. This time we'll limps. Okay. Not gonna isolate. Stubbs sure barbecue fair. sauces. From I my stubs is from. Uh, had already limped in the uh, hand, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but choosing not to isolate. Yeah. Yeah. Top pair for band yeah. teacher. Yeah. Double gutter for digital yeah. Dan. Pair and a gut shot for wheel and a backdoor flush draw. If we don't that way down. Oh, oh. No. I'm call 30 here. Call. I think. Call. His name is Jay. He is shaking his hand. We'll call quickly. You guys give him credit for that. Card Another is. club for band teacher. Now, now got a pair and a flush draw. Dan's not gonna like that card. Wheel's not gonna like that card. Correct. Oh. One. If you show two, I'll, I'll show one. <laughs> I was going to show him. Ten seconds. Cool. She's getting me there. I got a dolly, Texas dolly. She got you there on the yeah, flop. She's getting me there. No, she's yeah. getting me there on the river. Okay. She I got was, you there on the flop. Close. I had a 69. Should be enough. She's getting me there. <laughs> so you never worked with that stone still, right? No. Your wheel someone had a 69. Because I wonder who, I'm wondering. Congratulations to wheel. That's going to set all the interns yeah. a Twitter. <laughs> that they love him. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? <laughs> We're even now. Uh, How many times in the office have you heard someone on, say on, no. that wheel is dreamy? The, the phrase dreamy from, from, one, from one, one of the interns? interns? Yeah, one of the interns say that. I mean, not usually to me, but I hear them say it to each other like a weird amount, like a, a really high frequency. <laughs> <laughs> like multiple times a week, I hear it. Well, the interns, you know, they're. You know how they are. <laughs> Thirsty as hell. That's yeah, how they yeah. are. Timber's got kings. Both. Both. He's thirsty for some Both. money. Dan with ace queen could consider folding. Timber doesn't tend to three bet light. That is true. That is true. Timber like is calling with ace jack here. Which Dan decides to call. Not crazy by any means. Very reasonable. Yeah, would love to be suited. Yep. Kind of sucks to be out of position also. That means my kids 
Eric might have to call. His hand is relatively coordinated, and he's getting a pretty damn good price, but he decides not good enough. 3.25 to 1, but out of position, not good enough, he decides. I think he's probably right with the sack to pot issues he was going to have. Oh, he's a fool. What is he thinking? Meanwhile, Dan is flopped yeah. huge. Wow. A, a, this king, a king would be disastrous for Timber. Oh, the king really of not clubs, especially. This could have been a monstrous pot. It still might be, but it really could have been huge, especially if, if Eric were here. Now, is Dan going to just raise here? I think he should probably just put in the raise. Yeah, you don't want to go to the turn, see the deuce of diamonds, and not know what to do. Also, honestly, a club comes. it's hard to get action from yeah. my hand like this. Like they ha I think this uh, is just going to throw it away instead of give you all the action you want. Yeah, that was nice to call. Just just to call <laughs> also, Dan being out of position, it's harder for him to get value. Oh, the the British, the British There's a great card yeah, for Dan. Yeah, although it's going to be alarm bells. It's an action bells. killer. alarm bells for Timmer. The, there's one card in the deck that isn't an action killer that's really good for Dan, though. It's, you know, the, the King of Hearts. Everything else is going to scare But at this, point, at this, this point, it's a four straight when the King of Hearts comes, what, unfortunately. Now I'm, no, I'm saying for the turn. Oh, on for the, the turn. turn, yeah. So yeah. Timber's, um, no, now, Timber's no. betting again. Oh, I'm really right, surprised. Right, yeah, this is strange. I don't yeah. know what he's like doing here because the Ace of Clubs is really the only singular club that Dan is going to be calling with here, unless maybe he has King Queen with the King of Clubs, which just got there in a major way. So I don't really see what the purpose I mean, of this bet we, is. You block King yeah, Jack. I guess King Jack with the King of Clubs. That Dan decided to call it pre, which he wouldn't. No. Sometimes. It's really hard. Yeah, I don't think this bet is very well thought out. I think he's betting so he, have to bet so he can just check back the river. Though. But it could have been a lot smaller. There's a club anyway. That's the plan. I mean, now it's going to be easy for him not to bet if he gets checked too, but... Dan has the nuts, but there's just no way to get value here unless Timber decides to bluff with kings, which I don't expect. Yeah, I'm just a little confounded by that turn bet. So, yeah. Yeah, Timmer really didn't have to lose oh, that yeah. <laughs> as we see the club comes on the river. Dan is going to bet. I think this is probably right. Just hoping the king of clubs is in Timmer's hand, mostly. Make sure you get value from a club. I'm just going to throw away the king. You were behind on the turn. Go to the potty. No, he got there. I guess Eric is lucky he did not call the three bet. I guess so. I guess so. It could have been a lot of action right on that flop with Eric in there as well. Yeah, and I don't think Dan's ever folding that flop. No matter what action. Yeah. I was, if I were Dan, I'd be really happy just to keep putting money in. Yep. And New Jersey. Well, Boston old school, they call soda tonic, but I'm, I'm too young for that. Generic tonic. We, we just call it soda. Well, this shows you, though, the um, opposition is so important in this game. Like, it happens that Timmer decided to bet his two kings there on the turn, but a lot of players are going to check their kings and then never put money in them again. And if Dan's in position instead of out of position, he gets to bet the turn and sometimes get called there. I mean, it's just so much better. Did you steal his blind? I did. Yeah. That's, clean. That's yes. pretty standard. California totally totally generic. Did that. Yeah. So yeah. When it comes. Well, you, like a, you could say a Southern California accent would be like that. Which would ban on a little bit of a hita. But if you're not Finally. Spanish How it's about time. Jordan Hansen getting maybe a little out of sorts here with the king. Perhaps, king six hearts. perhaps a wee bit. Getting just a little bit wide. Dan is not going to love that jack, but he should be pretty happy with the flop. West Coast, yeah. The turn, the Which is jack 10 to 7. Yeah, somehow that's not coming up, but we know it is. We saw it. Well, just don't worry about all the graphics stuff. It's a bad. <laughs> just remove all those graphics, guys. Yeah, yeah we don't need those. We don't need those. Better. Really Let's go back to so Jack 10 7, so King like of Hearts, bogey, King, so King Six of Hearts versus Ace 10. Let's go back to 1999 poker where we don't know what the board exactly. is or, or how many, cards how or much people bet, what, what's in the stack. You know, in the old, uh, watching the uh, the year Moneymaker won the World Series of Poker, people, would, even the year after, people would bet and they would just say, and it's a bet from Sammy Farha. Yeah. They wouldn't know how much it was. Right. Or we wouldn't know what anyone had in their stack. We wouldn't know what the size of the blinds were. We wouldn't know what it meant. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People were, a lot, less, again. That's people all we were a lot less sophisticated then, and they yeah. didn't really care how, how big the bet was. No, it's just that he bet. That's all. Yeah. That's all anyone knew. So now there's uh, see Stuart was like, I think he was wiping the sleep out of his eyes. That's cute. We're gonna get this sorted out. Yeah, eventually. He said he he said he wants a pony for his birthday. By the way. Well, bad news, Stuart. <laughs> Well, that it says the flop is ten seven five, which is a lie. That is the second yeah. two flop cards and the turn. But okay, we know this. It's fine. 
just right. chilling with his daughter. And yeah, they're like, trying to fix it. It's close right. enough. Yeah. So the cards are right. Will Bart continue? Looks like Bart is going to continue on the turn. Interesting. <laughs> This is going to work a fair amount of the time against the really town. Huh. I'm surprised Bart uh, continued here. Without, pick up, without picking up any equity, you know? If, like, a queen came, even an ace. Maybe he feels the king is a good enough blocker to, to one of Dan's most likely jacks that he's supposed to continue. Huh. Maybe. Feels like he can fold out all the tens, which clearly he can. Yeah. And uh, maybe some of the jacks also. <laughs> and he blocks king jack, so... Cool. Yeah. Cool indeed. Either way, whether or not it was a prudent play, it certainly was effective. Yeah, I just like traveled a few gigs. The interns are going to take hell for that hand. If I could get like two more gigs. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, Dan. They're so busy giggling about wheel. The thing that's great about having interns is there's no such thing as air quotes working conditions for interns because they don't <laughs> technically have jobs they're not working it's so just conditions we can just do whatever the hell we want i mean let's be clear what you mean by that you mean like we're not gonna like put out food for them and stuff, yeah, right we're not gonna put out food uh, we are going to lock them in rooms that are dark by themselves yeah yeah and not let them out Damn. fine yeah. until they get it right yeah Okay. Because I just want to be, you know, in, in these days of me too, I just worry about when you say things like that, how <laughs> it's going to be interpreted. Okay. I get where you're going. <laughs> That's why I wanted you to really spell out okay. the conditions. I can't make intern jokes now. You can make intern jokes. Thanks, Jonathan. I'm so chicken right now. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Got clubs against clubs, and band teacher flops best. Digital Dan going to have to continue his. Uh, it's his favorite hand. Yep, he three bet. This is a great board to continue on. Admiring your five o'clock shadow. It's one of those spots where two barrels will probably get it done. Three barrels certainly will. For hours. Certainly, but very likely to. Band teacher does get really sticky sometimes. He does. He does. Bet two hundred. It's not a comfortable spot for race five, but it's a spot where you have to call at least once. Yep. Sometimes you, when you do this, you're just thinking, "Am I just?" Burning two hundred dollars for no real reason. Yeah, but I know that exact feeling. And this is a card that Dan couldn't probably win on if he continues. But yep. as played, Ben Teacher has more straights in his range than Dan does. You would think. Yeah, that's probably true. But Dan probably doesn't have king queen. Dan has ace queen and queen queen. Yep, and Ben Teacher's maybe got all of the queens that have pairs on the board. That said, as you said, if Dan just were to find a bet, and here it comes, it looks like he is going to find a well, bet. Well, uh, the the board range analysis is not everything. It's also yep. where you fit in your range. And Dan is at the very bottom of his, so it's a good time to bluff if you're going to choose some bluffing hands. There's a real freedom in having four high here. Yeah. Where you're like, well, might as well take a shot. Off queen. That'd be, that'd be a good card. That's only to win half. Okay. Yeah, there's really no way Band Teacher can continue here. Yeah, if he, if he calls here, he's basically just putting a blindfold on and throwing darts backwards at a board and hoping it lands, you know? Just like oh! Dan, Dan, Dan shows the board. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, and, uh, so Dan 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 his life. <laughs> no, no, Doug and you can have a drink together. <laughs> oh, so Dan inside. <laughs> That's better than a plot. Thank you. Is that just a pure bluff? I caught the ball. I caught the ball. I was playing the board. I'm so dead inside. I understand why. <laughs> that wasn't the air ball. But that flop was like so much of your range. It was like well, you there. Yeah, so you three yeah. bet three. That should yeah. be part of your range. It's, <laughs> it's like the perfect situation. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of his way now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Did you know, it folds Dude, pocket of trees. Uh, he's uh, he's well. letting band teacher have one. That you know? that's a mistake though. Yeah, yeah. This is, especially with that hand. That's a hand that's gonna. Yeah, if you flop, flop, flop a set and band teacher just goes nuts, which is possible. Yeah, it's, it's like you know where you're at. I mean, you may not know exactly where you're at, but you're gonna have a very clear like sense of you have a very all strong all hand or not right away. Well, he would have missed. So that's that's nice for him. Yep. Band teacher has a hand he can continue, a short cannot, and that is that. So. 
I don't know why Dan no, I might have, I might have misheard him, but when, when Dan was talking about the previous hand, I feel like I heard him say, yeah, that three bat pre really gentrified my range. <laughs> I don't think he said that. That would be kind of fun, though. Yeah. 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 That would be very weird. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I see that happening. Thank you. Perhaps not. Not a popular topic at the poker table. It's not. It's not something that comes up too often. So David, you have that to beat. When you get your four dudes. I had dudes five in that hand. I, I was like ready to play. Really put a, so put a yeah, hipster yeah. local yeah. coffee yeah. shop yeah. in my ring. I got, I got, I got a dominated hand, dominating hand to fold. You don't, you don't get it? Just, I get it. I just, you know, I'm just like shaking it. my head. No, it's not working no, for me at all. Win it's win really deeply not working for me. Well, maybe this is a learning moment for you. Band teacher, by the way, now, he's had a hand to play the last two times, but even when he raised here. Oh, big flop for Timmer. Sorry, for Stuart. Excuse me. Well, Timmer does have the 5-5 five, five flush draw. Is that what you're referring to? That is to? exactly what I meant. He's got the only club. It's just amazing that you've had it four times. Can't teach you with top like hair, Stuart with the set. Could raise, could call. Yep. Just sucks to get three bet if you have a set of sevens on this it specific sure board. sure does. <laughs> But you hate to let Timmer in super cheap with the flush draw, or even Band Teacher in super cheap. And there's the raise. And this is immediately just kind of a disgusting spot for Band Teacher. You could be drawing very close to dead. Or. It's hard to be drawing dead, but. I mean, Stuart has Ace Jack. Yeah. You could still chop in that instance. You but could. It would be difficult. You could. But that. Well, there's another jack that gives Band Teacher some life here. Yep. Check. Stuart has less to worry about in terms of clubs, but turns out, as you said, Band Teacher has some equity now. And I'm hearing from Rose yeah. that this is our last hand. No. Yeah. Rose. Uh, we, she has complete control over when the last hand is, and we can't do anything about it. Okay, I mean... And she's got to catch the early bird special at Golden Corral, <laughs> so... <laughs> That is quite good. Uh, the, they keep telling me. The interns keep telling yeah. me how, how tasty it is at Golden Corral. And Perkins. That's the other place they just keep mentioning. Perkins. I haven't heard of that one. <laughs> so there's a call from Band Teacher. It's understandable. But he basically can only beat the clubs. He can beat King Queen with the King or Queen of Clubs, which is a hand that Stuart might play this way. Yeah. Now uh, the kicker does not play for Band Teacher. Nope. Not that Stuart really was going to show up with a six or something like that anyway okay. as played. So, so Stuart's certainly going to bet here, and then Band Teacher's going to be an interesting spot because Stuart, if he had the King of Clubs, would have a showdownable hand. But would probably know that it wasn't good enough right. to check back. But the question is, would he th would Stuart really bluff? How often would Stuart bluff? Right. right. I mean, Band Teacher could be here with a, a flush. He, he could be here with a lot of hands. So, of course, going for value. Oh, and quick call. Just snap call. I guess he thinks Stuart can have the King of Clubs. Not in any mood to fold after that previous hand against Yeah, the I think that may have played into it. And that's a fun, splashy way to end the episode. Indeed. We'll see you guys next week for some more poker time. Thank you.